So I'm on vacation with my family and I brought the entirety of the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation to reread because I didn't have time to get new books. <laughs> and there was nothing that I had that I was like, oh, I really wanna read this right now. So I'm rereading the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. This is book one. I will be giving my thoughts here. Please join me on this journey. It's gonna be fun because I haven't reread this since the first time I read this in January of 2021. That's a long time ago. So anyways, let's go on this journey. I'm just gonna be sharing my thoughts, my feelings, my reactions, and I already have thoughts. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm two chapters in. And let me just say this. This Wei Rishian, he has more to Lulu than I remember. Listen to this. Of all people who could have come, it had to be the Lan family. Of all people to come, it just had to be Lam Wanji. This was someone with whom he had once crossed paths and fought crossed paths <laughs> you're calling the weird relationship you had with him crossed paths no 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 are you forgetting that you study at the cloud recesses wait we should what are you what crossed paths is like someone you meet once and you're like oh it's nice to meet you crossed paths is not whatever these two got going on <laughs> so this is the first time i've reread it because the first mdzs content i consumed was the novel and it was a fan translation okay and so this is the first time i've read it since then right okay so <laughs> hindsight is 2020 right so okay listen to this from head to toe he was scrupulous and immaculate without a single foot placed in correctly I'm talking about lam wonji even so two words still jumped out in wei wuxian's mind funeral clothes <clears throat> lam wonji was praised as an unrivaled rare beauty nothing could help the fact that he looked profoundly and embittered as if he lost his wife oh way was she you sweet summer child you know what he did he lost his wife it's you i forgot how delulu this man is <laughs> i forgot about it <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah I forgot how Delulu he is, like how oblivious he is. It's one of my favorite things about him, but it's like, okay, it's a, okay, okay. So, um, and then it talks about how a sword destroyed all their spiritual nets. And I remember that, but thinking about this in the context of everything I know now, because I'm rereading this, right? I'm like, oh my God, he just, sh it says, uh, truly the doctor's reputation of appearing where there is chaos. I think he's just wandering around, trying to be like, where is Wei Ying going to show up? Where's he going to show up? Let me just make sure, you know, like gotta get all the rid of the spiritual nets in case he's trapped in there. I don't remember canonically when we established that Lan Wanji figures out that this is Wei Wuxian, but, <laughs> oh my God, my sweet summer child. It's so obvious, like hindsight is truly 2020. <laughs> 